Today we're going to talk about gender-based violence. We're going to talk about what gender-based violence is. We're going to talk about how big the problem is. And we're going to talk about what we as individuals and as society can do about the problem. So while of course it's true that gender-based violence refers to violence against either men or women, the term is often used interchangeably with violence against women because overwhelmingly the vast majority of gender-based violence is against women. Examples of gender-based violence include intimate partner violence or domestic violence, sexual harassment and assault, rape, female genital mutilation, trafficking, and child or forced marriages. So how big is the problem? Well, in 2016, the WHO published a report that said one in three women globally will experience gender-based violence in their lifetime. And many of those women will be victims of repeated incidents of violence. And a UN report stated that the place in which a woman is most likely to be murdered is in her own home. This is violence perpetuated against them by people that they know, partners, ex-partners or family members. Now, although the problem of gender-based violence is widespread, the risk of experiencing it is not evenly distributed. Certain groups have elevated rates of victimization. Examples include LGBTQ people, people with disabilities and sex workers. Women who are economically disadvantaged can more easily become trapped in cycles of abuse. And let's remember that children who have witnessed gender-based violence in their homes are also victims. So let's talk a little bit about what we as individuals and what we as society can do about gender-based violence. Well, firstly, we all share a responsibility to work towards ending gender-based violence. It's not good enough to simply be someone who doesn't perpetrate violence. We need to speak up and demonstrate our support for women, even when it's difficult or inconvenient to do so. Sometimes it's about calling out the ways in which our culture might be colluding with perpetrators of violence. We need to get behind and support efforts, be they social or political, that empower women and address issues of gender inequality and gender inequity. We need to be intolerant and we need to be seen to be intolerant of bigoted and sexist behavior. Go out and vote for political representatives that believe in social justice. Political leaders are role models for our children. If you want your daughters to grow up with the same opportunities and same freedoms as your sons, then the people in power matter. Their actions and values matter. Gender-based violence is both a cause and a consequence of gender inequity and gender inequality. So addressing gender-based violence and addressing gender inequity requires that we change the way society is structured, that we change oppressive power dynamics, that we change social hierarchies that disadvantage and exclude women, and that we change the political and economic paradigms that deny women the same freedoms and same opportunities that men have. And let's remember that if we want to work towards equality for women, we need to work toward equality for all women, because gender-based violence intersects with other types of disadvantages. So ending it requires that we also challenge racism, homophobia, classism, and any other form of bigotry and intolerance. Now, obviously, I can't address all of these issues in this short video. I'll tell you what, though. None of these things happen without us consciously deciding to support the empowerment of women. Even if you don't know who they are, I promise you that there are women that you know who have been victims of gender-based violence. So what can you do? You can be vocal. You can be visible. You can start by taking small steps, perhaps. How about sharing this video on social media, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn? And when you share it, make a comment, something like, Let's work together and end gender-based violence. Or how about just leave a comment in the discussion section below this video. Something like, I believe in gender equity, or I stand with survivors of gender-based violence. But do something, be vocal, be visible. This video was created with support from Context. Context is an EU-funded network of trauma-focused researchers. They study the way in which psychological trauma affects different populations, including survivors of gender-based violence. To find out more about context, click on the link in the description below.